friends here in this video we will see a problem on temperature stress and strain and for that purpose here we have a question whatever is given in this question i'll write that in the form of data first let us get started steel rod 10 mm in diameter so d is 10 mm and 2 meter in length so it is 2000 mm is at 25 degree celsius initial temperature t1 then find the new length of the rod new length of the rod i'll denote it by delta l1 if the temperature is raised to 70 degree celsius that is after 25 degree celsius the temperature goes on to 70 degrees celsius find the magnitude and nature of force required to prevent this expansion we have to also calculate the force or we can say it is nothing but the reaction force so force f which is required to prevent the expansion they have given us the values young's modulus 2 into 10 raise to 5 and coefficient of thermal expansion and contraction so with the data available let us try to get the solution to this problem now in the solution since it is given that there is a steel rod so i'll draw the cross section steel rod is having diameter d so i'll say that since cross section area of steel rod is given by a is equal to pi by 4 into d square so that becomes Pi by 4 into 10 square and it is 78.54 mm square next after getting the cross section area here we have to find out the new length of the rod and as we can see in the problem the rod is heated that is initial temperature was 25 final is 70 degrees celsius so this steel rod whose original length is capital L it is being heated and once it is heated its length will increase so this is the free expansion denoted by delta L so if we have total length in that we have add the free expansion that will indicate the new length of the steel rod so for that i'll say that now since free expansion of the steel rod is given by delta l is equal to alpha into delta t multiplied by l So therefore delta L is equal to alpha is 12 into 10 raise to minus 6 delta T change in temperature 70 minus 25 that is final minus initial temperature into the length of the rod is 2000 mm. So from this I will get the answer of deflection which comes out to be 1.08 mm. Now after getting this deflection in the question it is mentioned to calculate the new length of the rod so I'll say that therefore new length of the rod is given by 
delta L1 is equal to the original length plus delta L. So therefore, delta L1 is the original length was 2000 mm plus delta L is 1.08. So from this, the answer of delta L1, it comes out to be 2001.08 mm. So that is the first answer. That is we have found out the new length of the rod and this new length as we can see original length was 2000 now it is 2001.08 so therefore we can say that there is an increase in length of the rod so now after getting this the next part is to calculate the nature of force required to prevent this expansion because here as we can see in the diagram if we are heating the metal rod it will expand freely but if we provide a wall here and that will avoid the free expansion so after this I can say that now if the free expansion of the rod is prevented then there will be temperature stresses and strain developed in the rod so first I'll calculate the value of the temperature strain so therefore temperature strain E is equal to it is alpha into delta T so therefore E is equal to alpha is 12 into 10 raised to minus 6 delta T is 70 minus 25 so from this I'll get the answer of thermal strain or temperature strain which is 5.4 into 10 raised to minus 4 after getting the value of temperature strain I can say that therefore temperature stress is given by sigma is equal to strain into Young's modulus so therefore sigma is equal to strain is 5.4 into 10 raised to minus 4 Young's modulus the value is 2 into 10 raised to 5 given so from this I'll get the value of stress and it is 108 Newton per mm square after getting the value of thermal stress now the question was to calculate the reaction or we can say the force applied which prevents the free expansion so we have to find out the nature of the force required to prevent this expansion so I'll say that now therefore stress as we know it is equal to force upon area so therefore force is equal to stress into area stress is 108 area we have found out area was 78.54 so from this we are getting F value as 8.48 into 10 raised to 3 Newton or we can say it is 8.48 kilo Newton so this is the second answer so here they have told us to find the nature of force required to prevent this expansion 
so if i can explain this with the help of a diagram suppose there is this rod having length l and if it is allowed to expand freely the deflection is delta l and now if we want to prevent this expansion then we have to apply a compressive force to this rod and that compressive force may be in the form of two walls which are attached on either side of the rod because of that it will it won't be able to expand freely so therefore i'll write down the nature of force is compressive and once we have found out the nature of force we can say that we have answered both the question that is the new length of the rod and the force acting and with this we complete the question